It started early this morning. Crews from the Department of Transportation and Seattle Human Services begin removing the people living here. Once the people moved out, equipment moves in to begin removing tents and debris and loading it into trucks. It's the end of what drivers say should have happened weeks ago, following months where people were throwing rocks, furniture, a scooter, even a propane tank down onto traffic. No one was killed, but there were injuries and at least one serious accident. We're getting kicked out pretty much, you know, because somebody chose to throw rocks on the freeway. Jerome is one who lived in the camp. He says he saw people throwing rocks, one in particular. Yeah, we see him all the time, you know. He just starts yelling and throwing stuff at the freeway and walking. He needs help. I hate to say that word, but he needs help. You know, he's got mental issues. We don't know exactly who Jerome is talking about, but last week Seattle police arrested a 39-year-old man who they traced back to the camp, a man having a mental crisis. Then just two nights ago, more rocks thrown at four in the afternoon. In that case, victims in a semi chased a 31-year-old man into the arms of a state trooper. Another arrest made connected to the camp. And if we have individuals that have done this repetitively um, and then obviously we made some arrests which is progress and now we're here to support Department of Transportation. Trooper Rick Johnson with the Washington State Patrol. He says his agency produced heat maps that track most of 210 rock throwing incidents in King County to this area. But sweeping away this camp doesn't sweep away the bigger issue of homelessness. Chris Loftus also with the State Patrol. You can't arrest your way out of homelessness. You can't regulate your way out of homelessness. Some of these people I consider my friends, and I'm very unhappy what's happening to them. Mark Lloyd lives in the neighborhood. It's not being done for anything but political cover. For Jerome, it's a case of a few bad apples. The way everyone, uh, you know what I'm saying, portrays everything is just like it's us, like we're the ones doing it, you know? So the question now, like so many other homeless camps, what keeps this camp from basically being reestablished. Well, the Department of Transportation says they plan to put very large boulders in here weighing four to 500 pounds that will make reestablishing tent camps like this nearly impossible. That could happen in about a week. Live in Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.